The concept of cultural hegemony was introduced by the insightful Italian Marxist Antonio Gramsci. In his prison notebooks, hegemony refers to the ideological, cultural, and moral domination or leadership of one group or country over others. Gramsci argued that cultural hegemony is not simply a matter of force or coercion, but rather also the active consent of the subordinating class. The bourgeoisie maintains its power and dominance by constructing a worldview which inherently serves its own interests. The proletariat comply with this domination by internalizing the bourgeoisie's values, which relegate them to a position of servitude to the ruling class, accepting the naturalness of their place within the social order. They, in essence, consent to their own oppression. This is maintained by various cultural institutions such as the education system, media, and religious institutions, which are all influenced by the ruling class and promote the dominant ideology which benefits the bourgeoisie, or capitalism, oppression, and so on. Gramsci argued that the proletariat could challenge this dominant ideology, in the process creating their own counter-hegemony via cultural resistance, education, and organization of the proletariat. This counter-hegemony, Gramsci believed, would eventually lead to a revolution of some kind, in its wake establishing a new socialist order. This idea, as presented by Gramsci of cultural hegemony, remains a pertinent concept to this day, being vital in truly understanding the mechanisms of power, how they operate within our large and complex society, and how the underclass can contest and transform this very power to dismantle capitalism, creating a universal class.